Fantastic. Thank you, musicians. Did you get that? Okay. Praise the Lord. Fantastic. Great to have you here tonight. And uh, we're going to get uh, Tim Cashmore to come up in a moment. Gonna, where's Tim? Where's Tim? Tattooed Tim. Come on, Tattooed Tim. Come on up here. Come on. And uh, he's going to share a testimony just in a moment. going to be fantastic testimony. How many know Tim or met Tim before? You know Tim? Fantastic. He's a great guy. Come on up on the stage here. Come on. I want you up here where everyone can see you. That's right. Amen. Now, I'm going I'm to be speaking tonight on tattoos. So I needed to get someone who's tattooed to come along and share a testimony. And, uh, but before we do that, i got a video clip. And I'd like you to have a look at this little video clip. It lasts about 15 seconds. And it's for all of you who have a tattoo or would like to get a tattoo. They look beautiful when you're 23, but there's something else when you get older. Have a look at this. Got another microphone. Really cool lower back tattoo on an attractive 20 year old girl. Now, watch what happens to that tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those of you who have a back tattoo, welcome to what it'll look like in the future. <laughs> okay, let's give Tim a welcome as he comes up. Going to share a testimony, Tim. Come on now, come and share with us. Uh, good evening, church. <clears throat> oh, wow. Um, I sort of got surprised on this one because I was just talking to Pastor Mike yesterday and he said, oh, we'll have to get you up and give a testimony one day and, or today's the day. <laughs> oh. So first thing I want to do really is give the honor to God because without God I wouldn't have a testimony. And the testimony is hugely important in my life that the transformation he's made. Now, I suppose I'd better give you a bit of background of where I came from. I came from a um, broken family, split up family. My father left when I was five. Uh, then I had an abusive stepfather that came in, and I pretty much got beaten up from the age of about seven right away to about 13 when he kicked me out of home. And I was full of hatred of anybody in authority. So that's where my first tattoo came from. I was 14 years old. I was um, halfway through um, high school, and I decided I want a tattoo. So I went and saw my mate. Now, the other thing I was getting into was and I was getting into drugs, and I was actually making it a god in my life. So I wanted a picture of my god. And so, un you can't see it, it's under this one. Oh, man, this, this, yeah, it's under this one. This is a cover-up. There's actually a big dope leaf. <laughs> that, was my f that was my first tattoo, and it was done with a matchstick and a needle and some ink, and it was just like, dunk, 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 dunk. Um, over the years, my, the, the funny thing about the tattoos are a story of my life and what I was doing at certain parts of my life, and each tattoo's got a different reason and a different story behind it. Sort of fast forwarding through life, I, I was getting more and more tattoos and more and more and heavily into what I was doing, heavily into drugs, even, even worse than when I started. Um, life was really not good. And then, I became, I, fast story short, I became a Christian, started learning about God, and God started doing a transformation in my life. But it was only earlier this year, it was probably about, must be about eight months ago, nine months ago, I asked um, our, our elder at that stage in our church, um, Ian about tattoos and, you know, what they meant. And he, he went away and he, he fasted and prayed and then said, came back and seen me. And then after church, we're sitting just over in the row over there. Everybody else had left. So there was um, nobody else there. And he started sharing about, to me about what I'd actually done. And now when you, when you get ink, as they call it, um, you bleed. And you're actually making a blood covenant with the person giving you the tattoo. But it's more than that. It's just like um, in se when you have sex, with a, a woman outside of wedlock, and you are tied to her, and you are tied to everybody that she's tied to. And the same thing is of tattoos. With every person that, uh, had, that th those people had tattooed, because I've got a, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different tattooists tattooed on my body. And so I was tied to each of those eight people, but I was also tied to every single person that they had tattooed. And then when it goes, kept on going. And they're tied to those people, tied to those people, tied to those people. And so, Ian and I started praying. Now, I've seen deliverance before, and I've always thought, oh, well, I want to say actually putting on a little bit of an act. Well, there was only me and Ian there, so I had nobody to put an act on in front of. And hello, I don't know, you guys may just think, oh, the spirit realms, oh, you know, you see it in the movies and all that sort of stuff. Oh, it can't be that real. It's real. <laughs> it's real. Because this demon decided to come out, and 
Man, <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun. It is not fun. Some of them, some, apparently some come out really easy. This didn't want to come out. There was a bit of coughing. Yeah, quite a lot of coughing. There was a bit of pain. It was actually a lot of pain. But I, I just thank God because this, as I said, shared, when I first got up, the testimony is about God. And God loves us so much. And he didn't want me tied to those people. And he did not want me tied to those spirits. And so when Ian delivered me from them, radical transformation in my life, in my walk, um, praying was so much easier, engaging God was so much easier. Um, it broke off a few, a few nasty spirits. And I, just give, I have to give the testimony to God. I've dealt with some more stuff since then. And so I just got to, if you've got the chance not to start, don't start. If you've already started or if you've got tattoos, see somebody who's an elder or a pastor or something and actually ask them about it. Get, it, get it more information about it. Because they don't tell you back in those days what you're actually getting yourself into. It's like drugs. Nobody tells you what drugs are going to get you into. It's the same sort of thing. Before you even start, get some really good information. I've had um, young Christian people come up to me and say, oh, I've heard about Christian tattooists tattooing. Um, I should get them, you know, I can get good Christian tattoos and stuff like that. But it doesn't make any difference. It's not, it's, they are deluded in their own mind because they are tying themselves to the people that they tattoo. And, and everything that goes with each person, they're actually tying themselves to that. And, th- and if you get tied to that person, you're getting tied to every single person in that line. And unfortunately, the curses come and the demons come and ride upon that. And so wow. that's about all I can say about tattoos. And thank you, God. Wow, fantastic. What a great story. Man. Hey, come on, show more before you get down. Come on. Uh, God, let's see them all. You might as well see them all. Look at that, eh? So that's when I was getting into heavily into dragons and what dragons, I, I now know what dragons are and what they mean. Um, there's a, there's a um, star sign there because I was getting into um, astrology and everything that means. Um, dragons all over there. As I said, that was a cover-up. I was actually a Christian when I got that. <laughs> I'd only been a Christian for a few months, and my wife turned around and said to me, we can't have you walking around with a dope leaf on your arm. <laughs> and so we got that covered up. Um, this one's all about um, the Chinese year sign. I was under the year sign of the rat, so I was all getting, as I said, I got, it's funny what you get yourself tied up to. Um, I've got a, a raven, because I was really into death at one stage, which is uh, really not a good place to go, I'll tell you. And you get tied to them. Because I got my tattoo of, I had a tattoo of death, I was actually tied to death. And I'm really, really glad that I'm free of that one because, man, it's, it's a, not a nice one. And my nickname when I was a druggie was Mutant. Um, people were like, what? Well, I used to get so wasted, I couldn't even stand. People would look at me and I'd go, because I was just way in the furies, way in the thing. And once again, this was the demon that I saw when I was stoned. And I actually got this guy called Ugg. I know, nice name. He was a punk from Auckland, and I was describing what I saw, and he actually tattooed what I saw. And so the spirit realm is definitely true, and it's definitely real. Wow, isn't that an interesting testimony? Yeah. Come on, let's give Tim a clap, and let's give the Lord a clap, and thank you for what he's done.